The Esri Geospatial Cloud provides situational awareness in a number of ways. For example, this dashboard shows the location of incidents occurring and the position of response units in DC. But how do I transition from this strategic situational awareness to tactical operation support to ensure I'm deploying boots to the correct piece of ground? That's where a new product comes in, ArcGIS Mission, which I'm excited to have my colleagues debut next. Their mission, should they choose to accept, is to control the convention center grounds and mitigate any threats. So let's go live by welcoming Patrick O'Brien and Megan Banaski. Tactical operations are carried out every day that require planning, coordination, and perfect execution to ensure our mission is completed safely and successfully. ArcGIS mission extends the capabilities of the ArcGIS platform, providing tactical situational awareness, peer-to-peer -peer communication and collaboration, and the ability to capture and store all mission activities for post-mission review. Today, I'm a mission leader, and we're conducting a fictional scenario centered here at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center in search for a person of interest. However, for this fictional search, we've actually deployed Esri staff live in the field, and you may recognize some of their names. I can see David Attaway here on 9th Street, and Michael Sholin just to the north of the Convention Center. I have a live look into their current locations and can track where they've been. Turning on all tracks allows me to see past movements of my responders. I can see where they've been and understand how they got to where they are. But mission is more than just tracking. It's understanding our operating environment. We've created this mission centered around our operations plan, where we've included security zones of and around the convention center, integrated with live feeds from Waze, and created a convention center operations layer where we've located the loading zones, pedestrian entrances, and the metro stop. With this information, I have tactical situational awareness of the mission at hand. Now for the search, I'm gonna add two new responders. I'm gonna add Bonnie, who's currently in the field, and Megan, who's joined me here on stage. I'm gonna add them to the mission and assign them to the undercover team, allowing them to also communicate with a specialized group of responders. Now once Bonnie and Megan join our mission, they'll show up as active responders in my mission member list. So now let me pass it off to one of my newest responders, Megan. Opening the Mission Responder app, I see all active missions I'm currently part of. This new mission is at the top of my list. In the mission map, I see the same operational layers as the mission leader, along with my location, indicated by the typical blue dot in the center. My peers are shown in purple, along with their initials. I see Stuart is patrolling on the east side of the convention center, while Mike is in the north. Along with seeing the location of my peers, I can view additional materials that have been provided for the mission. It looks like today we have some supplemental information. This mugshot will be very helpful for our team in the field to know exactly who they're searching for. Speaking of the team, I should let them know that I'm here. The best part is, I don't need to go into another app to do this. I can open the mission feed and join in on my team's conversation. I'll let them know that I joined the search. Back in Mission Manager, I can see Bonnie and Megan are now active responders in our search. I can also track all the peer-to-peer -peer communication occurring in the field. Monitoring the tracks of my responders, I can see no one searched the area near the metro. So I'm gonna send a chat to my undercover team to alert all units to get to the metro area now. The metro stop obviously has a large flow of people, which would be a perfect place for my undercover team to potentially spot this person of interest without alerting him. Uh-oh. Megan's asked me exactly where. I guess my, my orders were pretty vague. So I'm gonna tell Megan and the team to stand by as I clarify my orders. I'm gonna send a geo message to tactically tell my team 
that I want our person of interest search to occur in area on M Street in between the loading zone and the metro stop. This is specifically where I want them to conduct the person of interest search. A geo message is a new way to communicate in ArcGIS mission. It allows me as mission leader and responders to communicate visually by marking symbols on a map. We can also add context to these communications with a title, comments, and attachments. Great, so Megan has acknowledged receipt of my geo message by sending me a thumbs up in the chat window. I'm also seeing our responders in the field populate the map with their own geo messages, tactically communicating to the team of their travel route to the metro. Now, as they start to converge on the metro, let me take a few moments to show you how we created our mission. The mission overview gives people an understanding of the status and objective of a mission through a summary, description, tags, and other metadata. As I mentioned before, a mission is centered around a mission map. Here's where I can edit and update my mission map with new information from my GIS staff to be immediately available for my responders in the field. And in additional materials, I can upload documents for my responders to download, such as the image of our person of interest. Now, as this mission continues and is monitored, let me show you how fast and easy it is to create a new mission. I'm going to create a mission for an operation of the DC metro system. And I'm going to select an existing web map. We've created a web map with offline map areas with secure data so my mission responders can take the map with them when they're disconnected. And I'll add this as a note in my summary. Clicking Create Mission. Once I click Create Mission, ArcGIS Mission is creating all the functional items needed for mapping, location awareness, peer-to-peer -peer collaboration, and, and the ability to track and store all mission activities. Once this mission is created, it will start out in a draft mode and not be seen by my responders until I make it an active mission. And once a mission is finalized, I can move the status to complete, and it will stay in my enterprise, available to me at any time for post-mission review. And as you can see, our mission is already created. Now let's go back to our active mission to check on the status of our person of interest search. Great, it looks like David Attaway just sent me a geo message indicating he found a potential suspect. So let's investigate. Judging by the description in the image, this is not the person that we're looking for. Now, as mission leader, I can immediately communicate to my team that that's not him and to continue searching for this fictional person. ArcGIS mission is available today, enabling your organization to have tactical situational awareness, peer-to-peer -peer communication and collaboration, and the ability for post-mission review. This demonstration has been conducted on location by the men and women of Esri. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Thank you.